Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Service YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to show you a step by step guide to set up free PBX on Google Cloud. In this video, we are going to go over steps like how to set up MariaDB, how to configure MySQL, how to install Asteric and free PBX, and then finally, we are going to set up SMTP alerts for the free PBX on your virtual machine. So, free PBX is a graphical user interface for Asteric and it is a well known IP PBX software. So, head over to Google Cloud and then go inside the console. And then what you want to do is that you want to click on this hamburger icon and then click on marketplace. From here you want to search for free PBX. And then this is the software that we are going to be installing in our virtual machine. By the way, the link to this particular software in the Google's marketplace will be in the description box along with this step by step guide of our blog post that will explain every step that you need to do to set up free PBX in the Google Cloud. I will be copying some commands from this blog post and explaining them one by one. So coming back to Google console, you want to click this option that says launch. On this particular screen, you can give your virtual machine a name, you can choose the region to where it must be deployed and then you can even choose the disk size for this virtual machine. For the region, I am going to go with Europe because that's the closest to me and then scroll down accept the agreement and click on deploy. As you can see the free PBX is being deployed to our Google Cloud. So just wait for a while for the free PBX to finish installing. Once the free PBX has been deployed to your virtual machine, you can access it by clicking this button right here that says SSH. This would open up a new tab in your browser that will be linked to the SSH terminal of the virtual machine. As you can see that we have deployed the free PBX distro on the Google Cloud virtual machine. So now what we want to do is that we want to switch to root user by using the command sudo and then hyphen i. And then by going over to the link in the description box, you'll be taken to this blog post that will contain the commands to set up MariaDB. So just copy this command, head back to the SSH terminal and paste them by pressing right click and then paste. Then you simply have to press enter once. After this, you also want to set up MySQL database as well. For that, again, copy the commands from the blog post, come back to the SSH terminal and paste them and press enter. Now what you did was, you basically told where to look for MariaDB and where to look for MySQL when it comes to Asteric. After setting up the databases, we want to download the free PBX along with Asteric and install them. For that, scroll down a little bit and copy all of these commands and paste them into the SSH terminal. While it is being installed, let's see what these commands are actually doing. So, first of all, we are heading inside the source directory and then we are downloading the free PBX 15 version from this mirror. And since the downloaded file is a zipped file, we are using the tar command to unzip it and then after unzipping it, we are removing the zipped file from our machine to save the cloud storage. Then we are creating asteric configuration files which are modules and CDR. Then we are heading inside the free PBX folder and starting asteric. And the last step would be to run this command to install free PBX on our virtual machine. As you can see that asteric has successfully installed and is up and running in our virtual machine. So now we are going to run this command which is dot forward slash install space hyphen n to install free pbx on our virtual machine instance. As you can see on the terminal that we have successfully installed the free pbx. But how do we access the GUI of free pbx? Well, it's pretty straightforward. Head back to Google's console, click on the hamburger icon once more, scroll down to this option which says compute engine and then click on VM instances. Here you can see the instances that we are running and this is the instance that we have just installed on our Google Cloud. And if we scroll it to the right, this is the IP to access that instance. So I'm going to copy this IP address and paste it inside a new tab and hit enter. And as you can see, we can access the free PBX GUI. We are going to come back to this initial setup later, but first we want to set up everything on the backend. So let's go back to our SSH terminal. Now what we want to do is that we want to set up SMTP alerts for the free PBX before moving to the GUI of the free PBX. Now to do that we need to install two things. The first is the postfix and the second is mail utils. 
Now to install a new package in a newly created virtual machine, you need to make sure that nothing is using the APT, otherwise you won't be able to install anything in a newly created virtual machine. So to free up all the logs, run the following commands. After you have executed all these three commands, you can now install the postfix. So I'm going to clear up my terminal. So to install postfix, the command is sudo apt-get install postfix and then you want to add in a flag which is the hyphen y. And then as I've told you that you need to install mail utils. So the command is apt-get install mail utils without a space. Press y and hit enter. Now to set up SMTP manually, we are going to do some steps that may seem a little complicated at first. But worry not, in the blog post, if you scroll down, there is a link which will guide you how to set up the postfix manually. So coming back to our SSH terminal, the first thing that we are going to do is that we are going to add in the relay host in the configuration file of postfix. So type in nano, then forward slash etc, forward slash postfix forward slash main dot cf and in here if you scroll down you will see this line which is relay host and it is currently empty so add in the smt of your email provider in our case it is going to be google so the ip address along with the port is smtp.gmail.com we're going to put a colon and then the port number which is 587 and then you can close this file press y to save it and then you can start or reload the service of postfix. But remember, you might be met with an error, which is that the postfix mail system is not running. Now this is because the port number 25 is being used by some other process. And that process is most likely going to be the send mail process. So first off, we're going to type in the command lsoft space hyphen i space colon and then 25. This is going to check for the port number 25. As we suspected, the send mail process is using the port number 25. So we are going to kill it to free up the port 25. And the command is kill hyphen 9 and then the process ID which is 1857. You can see the process ID over here. And then simply press enter. And then you want to start the postfix service. And the command is sudo postfix start. So that was setting up the relay host in postfix. But now we need to set up authentication in postfix as well. So we need to create a file that is going to store our username and password of the email that we are going to use to send emails to other recipients. So type in nano forward slash etc forward slash postfix forward slash sasl underscore paswd which stands for password. And in here we are going to add in the relay host which is smtp.gmail.com colon the port number which was 587 followed up by your authentic email id which has smtp service enabled on it and then separate the email id from the password by putting in a colon then simply save the file by pressing ctrl o press enter and exit the file pressing ctrl x after that we need to post map this file so the command is post map space hash colon the path to this file which is etc postfix sasl underscore paswd and press enter now we need to head inside the configuration file of postfix once again and add in the authentication configurations so nano etc postfix main.cf scroll to the very bottom and then type in the following commands we are telling postfix that the authentication is enabled and you're going to check for password maps inside this particular file and then you can even leave the security options blank you can say it like no anonymous then you want to reload the postfix using the command postfix reload and there you go you have set up the authentication for postfix mail system now there is another thing that you want to do sometimes the internet service providers reject the message if the from user and the sending user do not match so in that case, you want to create another file and write in some commands which are going to depict the users and these commands are going to overwrite the rules for the postfix mailing system. Type in the command nano etc postfix forward slash generic. 
As you can see, I have pasted in the following commands or the following lines. You need to make sure that you replace the email ID with your own email ID that you have used in the relay host. By the way, you can find these commands from the link in the description box. So again, save the file and exit it. Now what you want to do is that you want to add this generic file that we have just created in the configuration of postfix. Now we know how to do that. Go to etc postfix and main.cf and at the very end we are going to add in a line which is going to be smtp generic maps is equal to hash colon and then the path which is etc postfix generic. Save and exit the file and then post map this file by using the command post map and then the path to the file. And lastly, what we need to do is that we need to restart the service of post fix by using the command service post fix restart. Now you are done with the backend of setting up your free PBX on your Google Cloud virtual machine. Now head over to the link that we have opened in a tab which will take us to the GUI of the free PBX. For the first time around, it is asking us for the admin account. So for the username and for the password, I'm going to type in admin and admin. And for the notification email address, I'm going to type in my email address. And then the next option is system identifier. You can leave it as it is or you can give it any name of your choice. When you're satisfied, press this button that says set up system. Now every time you create a new session to this particular IP address, you will be taken to this screen. But since I am setting up my free PBX, I'm going to head over to free PBX administration and I'm going to type in the name of the admin account and the password of the admin account. It is going to ask us for the language. I'm going to select English and press submit. Let the page completely load. And as you can see that Asteric is successfully loaded into free PBX along with MySQL, web server and the mailing SMTP service. So everything seems to be working absolutely fine. You want to click on this button that says apply config on the top right hand corner. And then you are done with setting up your free PBX on Google Cloud's virtual machine. However, I would like to suggest two things. First is to set up your email config. To do that, you're going to head over to this option that says setting and then voicemail admin. And then head over to settings once again and then click on email config. Now from here, you can personalize the email that will be sent from this particular virtual machine. You can change the subject, change the template body. You can even change the name of the sender by changing this particular text box that says email from string. Whenever you're satisfied with the settings or with the template, click on this option that says submit. And the last thing that I wanted to suggest was keeping your free PBX up to date with all the modules available on the internet. So for that, click on this admin drop down menu and then head over to module admin. Once on this screen, you want to check for all the repositories that are available online by clicking this button. Once the page has completely loaded, you can either choose the module that you want to install from this list or you can simply click on this button that says download all. After clicking this button, click on process. So here you can see all the list of modules that are going to be downloaded and installed in your virtual machine instance. So scroll down and click on this option that says confirm. And then you simply have to sit back and relax while the modules are being installed in your free PBX distro on Google Cloud. Once everything has been installed, you can simply click on this button that says return and then you have to wait for the page to completely load. Once loaded, simply click on this option that says apply config. And there you go. You have set up your free PBX virtual machine instance on Google Cloud. You have set up MySQL, MariaDB along with SMTP alerts on mail service. And then you have even updated all the modules of free PBX on Google Cloud's virtual machine. Now, if you have any questions or any queries, leave a comment and we'll get back to you as soon as possible with the solution. And if this video helped you in any way, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And lastly, make sure to check the description box to get the link of the free PBX on the marketplace along with the blog post that has all the details and the commands needed to set up the free PBX. Till the next video, take care.